Let's take a look at the trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry, also called molecular shape. So when we have a steric number of five, that's five things, one, two, three, four, five, attached to that central atom, and none of them are lone pairs, that's trigonal bipyramidal. A good example is PCL5. So we have our phosphorus in the center, and we have one, two, three, four, five chlorine atoms around, no lone pairs, trigonal bipyramidal. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be our phosphorus. Let's attach those five chlorine atoms. One, two, three. You see them spreading out, four, and finally, five. And what we end up with is this shape that's best oriented like this to really understand what we're talking about. So we have really kind of two types of chlorine atoms. These ones here are equatorial. They're kind of on the equator. Then these here, they're up and down, so they're more axial. So the bond angle between here and here, that's going to be 90. But between those equatorial chlorines, that'll be 120, although it doesn't really show up here. There it is, 120. Let's go back. So again, we have our central atom with five atoms attached to it. That's going to be trigonal bipyramidal, no lone pairs. If you're using the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry here, A is the central atom, and then X, that'll be the atoms attached to it. And then E, that's the lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs, so A, X, 5 would be the molecular geometry. And again, if you look that up, trigonal bipyramidal. This is Dr. B with the molecular shape, molecular geometry for trigonal bipyramidal. Thanks for watching.